yeah you could definitely see the difference in quality i mean you are paying an exuberant amount of money to for a box <laughs> uh. <laughs> I got my delivery, but only half of it. Yeah, man. Big time bummer. I had ordered two 95L cases with the mounts also. So, the thought being, I was gonna put them parallel on top of my Jeep. <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to improvise now. We'll see. What's going on guys, Dave here with another Jeep upgrade and today I'll be focusing on leveling up my storage capacity with these Rome 95L storage cases. And main reason for this upgrade is because I've been doing mostly weekend warrior type of adventures and now I'm planning to do longer adventures. So that alone is going to be like a lot more things I need to like consider and carry with me not only that but i also want to keep the back portion of my jeep as free as possible because i'm gonna have uh, furry companions with me on my next voyage and this box will go on top of my roof rack and to do so i paired it with the rome adventure rack mounts which should hold it up there nice and firmly and it's a perfect way of removing bulk and mess from my interior of the jeep so the most i can keep clear out of this and up on the roof rack the better not only that but i also ended up getting the rome adventures organizer since I've been finding out that organization and storage is key when you're out and about. So I've already taken the liberty of installing it. It was quite simple, just some bolts that go into some slotted holes here and it's good to go. All right, now I know what you're thinking, especially if you're in the overlanding hobby, you know that this sucker ain't cheap. So this box on its own is around $360. The mounts came out to $190, so that's $200. And the lid organizer, $100 and or $125. So yeah, that's a hefty price tag. Um, all right, as for first impressions, it's looking great definitely looks like it's worth its money um, I really do like these hinges um, definitely an upgrade from using those bins over there which was using the manual latching system <sighs> these cheap Plano bins where you had to unlatch unlatch lift lid then find a place to put that lid and then get to your items and those lids started giving out already so yeah, that was always a drag, so it's nice to have some hydraulic action to hold the lid open for you. Also, I want to note that I did notice that these hinges right here seem to be maybe the third iteration of their design on this. I've seen plenty of YouTube videos on Rome cases already, trust me guys. <laughs> And I think that's really good because it really shows that the team is continuously um, reinvesting in their product, in their design, and making sure that they can improve it every time. I know I've seen two other hinge mounted options. I believe the first one started with the hinge right here and attached to the top of the lid and opened th that way but I believe that ended up causing the top lid to have issues with how it attaches. So they changed that to another hinge. I believe that attaches around so and to the box. And that's the last hinge I saw. So was surprised when I opened mine, it had a completely different hinge, but again, you know, 
props for the team or actively working on their designs and making improvements on them. Okay, so I ran into an issue yesterday while installing this. My original plan was to have the box laying like this. And I did measure for dimensions, making sure you know it was gonna fit. However, what I didn't take into account was the latch system on the row mounts. They give a considerable length that extrudes across the box which didn't allow me to place it like this which was a real bummer because man that's gonna be a sweet setup you know i can just quick access from here and jump back down so now what i'm doing is i decided to lay it lengthwise this way now i'm also ex having another little hiccup here speed bump with this layout because my gobi rack only has a diamond wee basket on half the rack you can see the uh, front half is open so if you want to remove the freedom panels you have that option available to you so yeah, this is as far as I got last night and then it got dark on me and that's where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wait till the next day so I can see what I'm doing because I feel like it can still work. It's just gonna be a very close call. So if I could at least get like two of those slots in, I think I should be good. And and the metal braces should hold it so hopefully that works and then i'll just move my action tracks further down so i can access my box easy so yeah guys that's the plan so far we'll see how that will that works okay so i believe i can get away with the latch being this close to this bar and that just gives me enough room to be able to mount this other part of the row mount without it like falling off so I think this, this is gonna be the way All right, so after forever, I was finally able to mount the Rome box perfectly. This little squeeze over here that I had to like pull off. Never mind. Let's focus here. Dude, I swear I just did it. Okay, maybe I need to <laughs> film this one first. So boom. Okay, it could be a little tighter, but that's fine. Two. Oh, there we go. I have to do that little bit just to make sure it gets there secured, but it works. It freaking works. Look at that, I struggled so much just because of like that much of difference 
in length that I was missing. So, but now that it's finally all said and done, it looks pretty cool. I'm actually getting excited now. So, that's dope. And it's on there pretty firmly, so I have, I have no concerns of this, you know, wobbling around as compared to like those totes over there. Those would definitely wobble up here, but nope, this is solid, solid as can be. Okay guys, so remember how I mentioned I only got like half my order. Today I ended up getting the other half, at least I thought it was the other half. <sighs> so yeah, I just got like two boxes in, so that's why I thought it was like the other half for sure. But after opening it up, Turns out I'm missing the organizer pad that goes on the box and the additional harness hardware for the mounts because I don't have a rail system on the Gobi. I got diamonds. So now I can't even mount the box. So now I'm back again feeling defeated. So, so now I'm assuming the delay was FedEx's part, but this missing parts are uh, definitely wrong. So, yeah, it's, that's a bummer there. Like, what the hell? Spend lots of money for this. <laughs> Delay my trip too, you know, what the heck.